Welcome to ATP Report. I'm Barry Nussbaum. Did you know that numerous big name political figures have made outrageous speeches calling for no police? New York's first lady, Charlene McRae, recently described a world in which police don't patrol city streets as, quote, a nirvana, but continued, it's probably not likely anytime soon. McRae, who was with her husband, you know, Mayor Bill de Blasio, when she spoke, made the comments just days after Minnesota lawmakers vowed to dismantle the Minneapolis Police Department. Ms. McRae goes on, that would be like Nirvana, a utopia that we are nowhere close to getting to, she said. She said this to Time Magazine, by the way, and she referred to the possibility of a police-free metropolis as a great thing. And if that didn't soak in, I'm going to say it again. No police would be a nirvana, a utopia. This is not the statement from some unknown crazy person, but the first lady of the largest city in America. Did her husband, the mayor of the largest city in America, disavow her statements or apologize like he should have or make the usual BS excuse? Well, her comments were taken out of context. Nope, because he supports her. Just like what he said when their daughter was arrested for rioting. Yeah, their daughter. Here's the details. Chiara de Blasio, 25, was taken into custody around 10.30 p.m. during the riots in New York City a few weeks ago after cops declared an unlawful assembly at 12th Street and Broadway in Lower Manhattan. They were rioting. The New York Post reported she had allegedly been blocking traffic on Broadway and was arrested after refusing to move and disperse. Quote, that was a real hot spot. Police cars were getting burned up. People were throwing and yelling and fighting with the cops. There were thousands of people in that area, according to Time. And the New York Post said Chiara gave a residence on East End Avenue as her address, otherwise known as the Gracie Mansion, <laughs> where the mayor lives. It's a mansion on the Upper East Side, and that's her home. She didn't tell the cops she was the mayor's daughter, but the press found out and the mayor said he was proud of her. And it's not just New York, by the way. LA City Council President Nuri Martinez has used members from the LAPD often two at a time to guard her home over the course of the last two months. This while she was introducing a motion to cut $150 million in LAPD funding. This official also had round-the-clock private security provided by the department at her home. It might have cost taxpayers $100,000. Lovely, isn't it? Do as I say, not as I do. What a hypocrite. And here are the words of a crazy lady in Texas who wants to be in Congress. Here's her comp campaign response at a press conference. Quote, even if people loot, so what? Burn it to the ground, you know, if that's what it takes to fix our nation. Unquote. Those are the words of Kim Olson, a Texas Democrat running to take the North Texas-based 24th Congressional District from Republican hands. Olson uttered those words in response to a question about defunding police at a press conference. Ladies and gentlemen, it's never been more important to go vote for local, state, and national offices. Please, please register. Please vote. And Please remember to subscribe to our free text message alerts by pulling out your cell phone and typing the message TRUTH, T-R-U-T-H, and send it to 88202. You'll be subscribed to our free service that will send you all of our shows directly to your cell phone. It'll only take five seconds, and it's always free. For ATP Report, I'm Barry Newsbaum.